Broad Street. So I think we mentioned his name once or twice already. Aaron Rodgers. Right. Um, Out of darkness, finally. He didn't even finish his five days. Like, Was he supposed to do five? He was supposed to do five days. He left after two. I thought he left after two? Yeah. I didn't know that. That speaks atonement to what you're going to get as a quarterback. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's going he's gonna to promise you three years and you're going to get one. Well, the, I know. Like, I, I, I was reading about it actually this morning. Um, doing my business. <laughs> but I was reading about it. Like, they did, like, a walkthrough on the actual, like, retreat thing. Yeah. Like, the darkness retreat. And it's um, so fucking it's stupid. a five-day program. They said after three days, you start to have, like, vivid, um, you know, whatever. Like, uh, your dreams are more vivid and crazy, and you start to have, like, okay. you know, I don't know, more eye-opening stuff after three days. So, but they, he did, too. He I can't stop eye-rolling over this. I, the whole thing is just so stupid to me. But do you take a quarterback, right? That has to go into a cave to decide if he wants to keep playing football. Wants to keep playing football or not. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't. Let me lock myself in a cave and go on a <laughs> self-help retreat to see if I want to find myself. And Yeah. Come on, man. No, no, I don't. I don't. I think, if anything, that makes him look worse mm-hmm. doing that. It doesn't make him look better. It doesn't make him look like, oh, I'm, I'm going to try to better myself. I want to. No, you're trying to figure out if you want to play football anymore right. or not. Do I want to make $54 million? It, I'm not sure. Absolutely a <laughs> uh, a locker room cancer. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't think he's like like a to cancer like that bad. I, I guess I'm just hoping that he's not like that in the locker room, that he can, that he can be a little bit more normal when he's around people. I don't know. Sure. I don't know. But I'm with you. But is he going to be? Where am I is he going to be somebody who? I would want to go after if I was well, 59. the Jets. What's he's guaranteed fifty nine point one nine. That's what he's point five one five yeah, season. That's, insane. That's just insane. And and you don't know how many years you're going to get out of him, right? So that's what I was looking at. Some right. Of the, I mean, he's thirty nine. He's going to be forty this year. <clears throat> you got aside from Tom Brady, who's like the absolute exception to the rule, right? Look at the the forty year old quarterbacks that were amazing: Elway, Manning. Steve Young, Montana, mm. like those guys were, uh, you know, Manning, for an example, 37, he was an MVP. Um, 38, he was a uh, pro bowl. Um, but at 39, his quarterback rating dropped 20 points. Like he was actually, um, actually he was the lowest rated quarterback in the entire league with Matt Ryan. Was he really? And when he was 39 and he had a losing season ever since then. Mm. So, you know, I just, Historically, forty-year-old quarterbacks aren't, you know, where the money's at. So what's what's the best uh, what's the best spot for Rodgers then? Because it sounds like we're both on the just s- stayed where he was at and collected his money and retired. Which he can, a, yeah. I mean, he can. He can still do that. Well, I mean, the the team is owned by the. That's the only team in the NFL that's owned by the fans. Yeah. So do you think the fans want him there at this point? The fans don't really have a vote. They don't have a vote. <laughs> they, have, they have fake pieces of paper. They spent a, a lot of money for. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I don't, don't don't get me started on that. That's yeah, no. <laughs> that's the biggest scam out there for the I NFL. Just, like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, is he wel- like, like I'm not gonna say he's welcome there, but like, he's well, welcome or not, you've guaranteed that year f- for him. So he, yeah, if he I, says I want to be a Packer, I, same he's a thing Packer. is like the uh, everything you said. Like they they've already built this bridge for themselves. Yes. They have to cross it, or that the pred that he leaves and gets it somewhere else. Right. So, and if I'm one of those other teams that has a need at the position. I don't know that I want him because you don't know how many years you're going to get out shame. of him. It's a shame. I've been such a huge Aaron Rodgers fan his entire career. Like, he's a great player, but he's at that point where you don't know. If it's right. like one year, two years, three years. So how do you bring a guy in and pay him $60 million? I feel like he's had like a slight like uh, Antonio Brown mental breakdown <laughs> in the last couple <laughs> of years. Like he's not the same – Yo, know, different kind of crazy, yeah, different kind of crazy, but he's not a mental giant anymore. He's like a mental like dwarf. <laughs> Is that the correct term? Not midget. Yeah. But, he's, I, yeah. I, I do. I think his best bet is just to stay with the Packers. I agree. But, I think he should stay there. But I don't think they want him to, to that point. I think they'd much rather just move on for all the same reasons that a new team doesn't want him. You don't know how long I mean, that relationship is going to be. Uh, we talked about the Colts. Like, who are they going to bring as a quarterback? Do they have enough money to sign a $60 million quarterback? 
Yeah, I'm not sure where their cap situation is right now, yeah. um, but I don't think the Colts would be the ones to do it after just constantly bringing in right. retread after retread after retread between Matt Ryan, Philip Rivers. It just feels like they're always going down that road of who's the next old man quarterback we can bring in. <laughs> <laughs> their next old man, right. Yeah, they definitely need a young one. 